Happy Saturday. How you doing? Did you have a good week with this prayer? I know some of you watch these videos every day. Some of you watch them once in a while. Some of you don't watch them too much, but you should. Take time. Everything is a matter of priorities. Make watching these videos every single day a priority because it will increase your faith for what you want to need. People wonder why they don't have anything from God. It's because you're not increasing your faith. Huh? Or you're not calling me. Glory to God. I want to talk to you now about the best prayer to pray at night. Bedtime prayer. Call it a bedtime prayer, huh? Best bedtime prayer. We pray every night before we go to sleep. Every night. It works. I'm going to show you what our prayer is. I'll, and I'll give it to you so you can even write it down. So praise God. Get yourself a pencil and paper. And get ready to do this. While you're doing that, say this with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life. And the best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart. Getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. Great things are coming my way. Everything always works out for me. I am a wonderful person. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Pastor Jim is the ultimate pastor because Pastor Jim gets results. Hmm? I get results. Glory to God. Probably the only person in the country who can actually get results who's available to talk to you on the phone. I love to pray with God's people. Pastors ask me all the time, how can you how can you talk to all those people? I said, I love God's people. I love you people, I'm telling you, more than words can ever say. A lot of you, I tell you, I love you right over the phone. I do love you. And a lot of you tell me you love me too. And I love to hear that. Because we're, we're called to love each other. Amen. I love God's people. And, and a lot of you, you know, when, the minute I hear your voice, I know who you are. I love the sound of your voice. Mm. And God loves the sound of your voice. Do you know God loves the sound of your voice so much that he saves your prayers in golden vases as incense? Tells us in uh, Revelation, I think, chapter 5, verse 8, that he has golden vases full of your prayers. And I'm sure he goes and he can listen to them anytime he wants. Glory to God. Huh? That's nighttime prayer. Make sure, if you did your offerings and donations yesterday, yesterday was offering day, make sure you call me today. And please share these videos with everybody you know. Put... Just make a Facebook post and say, call Pastor Jim for prayer. Amazing results. No charge. There's no charge. And then tag 10 of your friends. Do that if you, or just tag five of them. If you did that every day, you would tell everybody in your contact list about this ministry. They would call me if they need prayers answered. Or they would get back to you and say, hey, what was that number? And you could make a difference in somebody's life. I mean a huge difference in somebody's life. Please. Everybody in the country should know. Toby Keith died of cancer because him and his family did not know enough to call me. Other people out there right now on their deathbeds with cancer brain tumors, heart disease, and they and their family doesn't know enough to call me. If they did, they'd get healed through the power in the name of Jesus. Folks, I'm telling you, there's enough people in there to heal the entire country at one time, but they gotta call me. They have to reach out. When they reach out, they're giving me permission to pray for them. Hmm? I, I can get thousands of people healed at one time in a church service. Hundreds of people. You, you want to see? Have me at your church, I'll show you. I'll show you how to do it. I'll show you the power of God. 
because the power of God is here for us. And for you pastors who are watching me, finances generally increase 35% in a church when I'm there. Do you know why? Because the finances of the people increases. Huh? They get blessed. Pig pastors, you know, we used to do a lot of conferences. We haven't traveled too much the last few years. We used to do conferences all over the country, and the average was about 35% increase in churches when we would be, had been there. Because let me tell you something, folks. When we go to a church, we leave behind the blessing. The blessing of the Lord stays on that church after we leave. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. True revival. I've, I've been involved in a true revival before. And after the person conducting the revival leaves, if it was a true revival, the effects are still there six months or a year later. When we visit a church, the effects are still there. We haven't been to any churches for quite, a, quite five years. Because for one thing, it hasn't been safe. It hasn't been safe to travel. Last time I went to a large church, I was, they provided me with bodyguards because it was in a very unsafe place. But they kept me protected. Because there's a lot of evil people out there, folks. And we're not afraid, but we have to be protected. Huh? Do you know that every night when we go to bed, we pray. Now here's what we pray. And it works. I say, we ask each other if we had a good day and stuff like that. But then we pray. And I say, tomorrow will be better than today. Sometimes Mary says, better than today? How can it be better than today? I said, I don't know. But I do know it will be. Because I said so. I have faith in my words. My words have assignments. I give my words an assignment to carry out what I say. Hmm? Do you give your words an assignment? That's a whole different topic. I say tomorrow will be better than today. The rest of our life is the best of our life. And Mary always repeats everything I say. Then I say, my name is Jim E. Kibler. She says, my name is Mary A. Kibler. I say, that's Gracie A. Kibler. That's the poodle. And then the teddy bear dog, I say, that's Buddy Massa. His last name is Massa because that's Melanie's dog. That's her name. So his name is Buddy M. Massa. And I say, Lord, we are covenant people. Now you bless us and you give us favor while we sleep. And then I say, I bless us tonight in Jesus' name. Whew. That's our nighttime prayer. Now, if you didn't get that word for word, go back and get it again. Play it again. You can back it up. Play it again. I'm telling you what, folks. Every day is better than the day before. And, our rest, and the rest of our life... We started saying the rest of our life is the best of our life in 2012. That's 12, almost 13 years ago. And our life has been getting better ever since. Better ever since. First few months we didn't notice anything, but then we started to. And tomorrow will be better than today. Huh? I... Remind, before I go to bed, I remind God of who I am. I'm a covenant person. Now you bless me and give me favor while I sleep. I tell them that. Jesus said, when you plant God's seed, it works while you sleep and while you're awake. Read uh, Mark chapter four, the sower of the word. The sower of the seed. The, you know, people talk about sowing money. Well, you can sow money, but the most important thing you can sow is God's word into your heart. And that's what I do. I sow God's word into my heart 
every night before I go to sleep. Call me if you need your prayers answered. Please share this video with everybody you know. Tell everybody you know about my phone number. Prayers answered. People healed. People blessed. I'm telling you, this is absolutely the most wonderful ministry in the whole country. And so far, it's been a secret. There's only a few people that know about it. Everybody in the country should know about this ministry. Because I answer the phone from 9 o'clock in the morning till about 9 or 10 at night. Even if I go out to eat, I answer the phone. I don't want to miss nobody. I want everybody to get their prayers answered. And I will use the power in the name of Jesus to do it. Help us out. Help us. Please share this ministry.